Real plat. Hello everyone and welcome to Isaac. Dee's here to tell me what to do. Hello. What do I do? Normal, um. hard mode or greed mode? We've just done a greed mode run, but it'll be two days ago for these people. Oh, um, hard then, if we've just done it. Here we go then. Wait, don't I get to pick which person? No, we random. Until we get real plat. That's three Isaac modes. No, that's two Isaac randoms in a row, but of course, not in, cl not in cloud in the Lilith, Lilith one in there. Gonna kill stuff then. Uh, yeah, greed mode was a very successful experiment in finding uh, the things we need for real platinum god. Unfortunately, it did not find things we need for 1001 percent. Shall we open this? Will this work? Yes. Ta-da! Two more keys. Very nice. Uh, red chest has a spirit hearts. This is great. Obviously, Isaac starts with three um, red HP. So, I suppose the correct way to do this. If you're new at the game, you should definitely not take spirit hearts on the first floor until the end of it because you're just that much more likely to take damage, quite honestly. Um, but if you have become more adept at it, you can probably be fairly confident that you won't take the damage and therefore lose the spirit hearts before you get down to the next floor because the spirit hearts are not going to do you any good on this floor. You can't get a deal with the devil, so. Reroll! No. Nope. I'll go back for it. We'll use the Book of Secrets, which tells us where the other secret room is, and then we'll re-roll it, because we don't like it. We'll... It's the Doctor's room, though. This could be useful for that other room, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the D6. We might min-max a little bit, come back to the Doctor's remote. Depends how far away that other secret room is um, from the explosion that I want to use on it. Or if we find even more spirit hearts of a tin truck to explode, then we'll try and use the Doctor's remote on that. This room is so much easier on the burning basement than on the other floor because there's all these what the heck, all these fires and you just kite the flies into the fires and you'll die. La la la. Remember not to walk into the fires yourself if you're hurt. Pro tip. Hashtag pro tip. Hashtag Isaac. Hashtag like and subscribe. What the heck? Just hashtags, man. It works on all media. I've got some quite serious and pressing questions about the, uh, the house which Isaac lives in. This is the basement of his mum's house. Yeah, why is it on fire and why are there literal piles of shit everywhere? Uh, neglect? Okay, but why is it on fire? Neglect? I mean, it's not unreasonable that the basement will be on fire, right? Because the basement will catch fire. We are on Curse of the Unknown rather than Curse of the Maze, so we don't have to worry about... Um, okay, but... Good. When you finish cleaning the fireplace, go back to that room with people. There's lots of rooms with people. It was like a few rooms to the right. The one by the item room. I guess. I'm hoping to find something. Oh, what was that though? Bad timing. I'm gonna go back this way because I want to recharge the D6 before we go and fight the boss because I might want to re-roll the boss item. I don't want to use the battery to do it because I might want to re-roll it twice. And I think there's going to be enough rooms of combat. Key. Also, more keys. More keys are also worthwhile. Please be another room. Combat. Yay. Right, and of course we can get into the uh, super secret room, provided we have an explosion. There's a long way from the item room. We have a lot of reroll targets right now, which uh, actually fills me with some confidence because it's nice having the opportunity to change the option. That is not a bomb, so to hell with a secret. Good job. We'll reroll the boss room item room first, with preference over rerolling the item room because the item room has a much bigger pool and therefore we could get them. Look, look at the poops in this room. They're not just random poops. Somebody's deliberately Put them in, the in every single corner. Maybe it was Isaac. Okay, but wouldn't you just go to the dumpy corner? There's lots of rooms. I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like he was trapped in that one room. It was Edmund. Edmund controls Isaac's face. Much more than his own mother does. This is the boring version of Monstro that just sits there spitting out. Fine, but we have so slow damage and it's such a tanky boss that we're going to be here all day. Apparently. Uh, do we want HP? I don't know. I'm hoping for a tears upgrade or a damage upgrade from this monster fight. Because obviously this monster fight is taking forever and if we get any more champion bosses like this. I've got a blue and a half. 
Hey there, though. Well, that was a riveting conversation. Um, no. Yeah. It's damage and HP, so it's better. And then we'll go and reroll the item room, which had Doctor's remote in it, but I don't really want to take that over the D6. We have this battery charge, and no doubt we'll be able to recharge the D6 before we need to use it on the next floor, so just keep going, I guess. Uh, yes. Tech point five is an amazing item. I'm very glad that I did that. Okay, so we've got more HP, a bit more damage, and tech point five. I'm not going to go to the shop, because even if there are spirit hearts, I'd rather find an arcade on this floor now that we've got four HP. Oh, double key room. Brilliant. Let's re-roll everything up straight away. Oh no, we're okay. This is actually a pretty good room, because we have plenty of keys next to the previous floor. Previous ten. A full health pill. It's good to know, but uh, we didn't need it. Hopefully an arcade, because then we can get into the boss trap room and maybe make ourselves that much more powerful. It's just a cellar, but it's still on fire. Unreliable, very powerful. Much like racing cars. Some of these people survive. How long must the people be there in the sentient? It's not sentient. It's more like a. I mean, all it does is bounce around. Yeah. Fine, please. Uh, this is, okay, this is going to hurt a lot. It's got a heart on it, so you know it's not meaning to hurt you. Secret room? Too far away? Not too far away. Did you just use a bomb to get a bomb? And a secret room. Seems like a good trade. Worst case, there was no secret in there. I'm going to spend my bomb. Okay, well done for not hitting that. Okay. The hitbox on Tech Point 5 is impossible to deal with. Uh, no. What's that one? It's random as your. It's like $3 bill. No, it's like fruitcake in a trinket. Oh, I've got counterfeit pen. <laughs> that was very. Uh... I'm going to call that a ballsy move. Now we want to save our reroll now because there's a deal with the devil coming up, uh, and we haven't got a battery charge. So the first priority is reroll the deal with the devil. We have plenty of HP. We didn't get an arcade as well, which is mildly upsetting to me because it also means we can't get to the boss trap room unless we spend basically all of our HP. And we've got the pentagram, which I'm not even going to consider rerolling. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, nothing to reroll now. I guess we go to the shop. Ah, no, screw it, let's go. Keep our reroll, we might find the item room soon and want to have used it. The D6 is one of those high, um, high, uh, uh like, potential. High potential, but then you may never use it. You also don't want to swap it out for anything else. Pill. Give me some uses. Well, that would have been amazing on the previous floor, you dick, because. Oh, you bastard. See that shit? Um,. It would have let me get into the, the mob trap. Those aren't bats. Those are dickheads. They may be endangered, but maybe they're endangered because they keep attacking Isaac. When he's got tech point five, high damage, and fairly easy. What the hell? Did you see those bastards? How many hematomesis kills there? What does hematomesis do? Splits, it splits your blood. <laughs> Drops all these hearts on the floor. But knocks you down to a single red HP, or up to. But, if you find a super secret room, and the super secret room has ah. oh, a um, special type of HP on it, like eternal hearts or black hearts, through the spirit hearts into that, it will drop that type of HP. So it's a great way of Forming a, a huge collection of spirit hearts at the expense of what is currently going to be only one red HP. There's a battery charge right outside the item room, which is very nice indeed. Yeah, let's go nuts. Dunce cap. <laughs> I don't really feel like having the permanent. Yeah, let's take that. All stats up. 
I don't feel any faster. I suppose I am. Which is why I never shoot those poops in the middle, even though they can help me. Like, they do damage to the entire room, but then the reward appears over there. So if the battery had been over there, I wouldn't have been able to reroll that twice. I wouldn't have got the all stats upgrade. I would have been stuck between the e bank and the dunce camp. I don't know. I'm not Edmund. Oh. I mean, you could tweet him. Yeah, and it's brief. And you can be rude in it and people don't really mind because you have to be brief and brief and rude at the same thing. Essentially. I'm 100% looking for a super secret room now. Where the heck's it going to be though? I want to use my hematomesis pill because I've got two of them now. Uh, we should go to the shop too. Let me take more trinket room and then we can pick up... Well, we can't pick up the trinket that you wanted me to pick up. Uh, was it on this one? It was on the previous one. Ooh. Dang. Good. What are these things? Are these in danger? They're just spiders and spiders are beautiful. Okay. No special uh, parts on there, but... I'd like to get more coins. No, more keys, because... I want to open some things in the mob trap room, but at the same time I don't want to spend my bombs on the keys. I do love, by the way, <laughs> for coming through in what we often refer to in the industry as the clip. Black heart there and some bombs, which means I can spend more bombs on the keys, which means I can now go back to that mob trap room even though it's fucking miles away. And I can now re-roll Krampus' head, which is not what we got, so I'll take this. Oh, there's a battery charge in there and everything. That's awful. I could have re-rolled that twice, to be fair. Very bad at this game. Well, I want Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal's fine. And it could have re-rolled into shite, you know? Cool. We have three keys, which should be enough to get at least one more key to continue the mob trap. We have three bombs, which allows us to actually get to the other two chests. <sighs> I guess we keep this hematomesis pill, then. Hematemesis. And then... Um, hope the best. That wasn't very good at all. Okay. Let's try. There's another thing. I must prefer to post my answer questions. If you're trying to get answers to the questions you have in life from a game like Binding of Isaac, your questions are... They could be answerable. If they are answerable by a game like this, then your questions are extremely obscure indeed. Uh, if you're trying to find the answers to normal questions in a game like this, you're not going to find them. Is he crying poo? I got a lump of coal, didn't I? Oh, so he's just got like a black eye to the eye. Yeah, black eye. I've also got pink eye. But that makes green tears. Of course. That makes perfect sense. Can't get in there. Right. You can use hematomesis to get in there and maybe get some cool shit. But do I want to? Actually, yes, I can do. Thank you. Pretty much guaranteed to the secret room. Plenty of cash. We could also use a bomb to get in there. We do have seven of them, but I might as well just use it. Hematemesis. Hematemesis. One key. Fine. Oh, what? We roll it. Ooh! Amazing. There we go. Now all enemies turn into spiders and they die. Keep making poops, that's fine. That monster looks like the spare from the end. The endless what? It's very endless. You know, there's some on the edge and uh, some of the entities. Oh. Apparently I have not read that to the extent I thought I had. I pick these up. Good. What do you think this blank room will be? I'm going to use it on the shop in case it's... Uh, no, on the item room in case it's... Perfect. Oh. And if it's not perfect, oh, then it, it's something better. We can get into this curse room for free, too. We'll do that. Oh, do you know what I just remembered? I'm looking for angel room items. What happened there? I got teleported to deal with the devil by a red chest. It gave me... Two... Spirit hearts, so that was worthwhile. Also means we don't have to worry about opening the door. So I can take red heart damage if I want to, but that's very unlikely to happen. Yeah, we're supposed to get an angel room. The last item that we need to get is from an angel room, and I forgot that we were doing that. And I was looking at um, Little Brimstone going, yeah, I want that, and now I'm not really using Little Brimstone, so I'm kind of a one-two punch in my own uh, 
failed you, so. No, we haven't got keys either. Spend two bombs to maybe get some. What is that noise, please? I've got 51 cents, we definitely use it. Ah, yes, perfect. And get two more keys. We should take the Bible so it goes away, and we can re roll this shot when we come back to it in a minute. I do it in this room, and then we can use the battery charge to run again, if we so desire. It's nice having the D6, but it does make you spend time. Uh, yeah, okay. Doesn't charge us up, but. What's the card? What's the card? Stars. The stars. We have got the relic. Which will produce spirit heart. They're really called soul hearts, but you know, no other mind. Don't really want that. Oh, that's not that's mine. It's okay. And we'll go back and get the card that we dropped, which was the blank rune, because I was gonna use it if I didn't like the item in the item room, but I did, so I didn't use it. Why do neighbours have to be so annoyed? Ah! Now we don't have a battery charge for how? Dolly, fine. Plenty of spirit hearts there. Oh, we've been there. Okay. That was the hollow. I mean, I can leave the the pre-boss vignette things up if you want, so that you can see. People call them vignettes, and I don't know why. Nothing like a vignette. But, like, is that the official term now? People being wrong about shit? I mean, you're asking me when I'm literally that. Ooh! Perfect. That would be a great time to have a reroll. Oh, we should use it, I guess, for Get the no item. That means we get no more. Yes, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, it's actually called no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that stops us getting any more space for right? Do you, do you want any more? No, we've got the D6, haven't we? Exactly. Because everything that we get is going to be more likely to be passive, right? What, what's dying? Why is everything dying? I mean, I appreciate it, but I want to know. I don't like it when cool things happen, even. Like, I don't, think, don't like things not being in my control, even when they're things that I want. I feel like I just used Blank Room. It's a uh, Haggle Up, no use. We've got another one anyway. Plenty of cash, we should go back to the shop. I'm hoping to shop on every shop? Um, up to the room. Oh, I was going to say, I'd like it to be a Dagar's room, and there you go. It's a Dagar's room. What are you two doing there? We'll crack into this. Maybe we get a secret room as well. <laughs> I'm good at this. Uh, not much use. Very well. We haven't seen a single arcade on this entire game, considering how much money we've had. It's a depth one, right? Yeah, one. I might go back to the curse room now that we've got so much HP. Reroll Guppy's head and see if we get another curse room item as a result. Uh, yes, we got the go head, so now we're guaranteed to get every single deal with the devil from now until Kingdom Come, which makes me sad because, of course, I don't want deals with the devil, I want deals with the angel. Why did you get the item? Well, it would still give us... It would open the door. It's my fault that they're devil deals. Rather than angel deals. Oh, that ship sailed. Plug... Ah, do you know what? For the first time in a long time, I will do that. Judgment. I want you. Um, because it lets you recharge your spacebar item with HP. Ah, oh, walks into that like a dingus. Um, which is great with the D6, because if you don't like things, you can just sort of choose to spend HP. Which we have a lot of. I think that's the important thing. Oh, brownie is again. Brownie whose shots are unavoidable and keeps making the world's worst poop. We're guaranteed to get this door to stay open, so I'll take the damage and range. Open this, which is a bomb. 
I want both of these though. I want the succubus. I want death touch. I want to re-roll something. We haven't been to the item room yet. Yay, we get to re-roll something. Now we're ridiculously powerful and this is a great run. Which is why you take deals with the devil, but of course we're looking for Crown of Light, which is an angel room item. So we don't get to see that, unfortunately. I don't know if there's a way of undoing it. Like revoking your deal with the devil um, precedent. I'm trying to get angel rooms, but it's so difficult to get the rooms anyway. And of course, if we hadn't taken deals with the devil, we'd be in such a shit position. We wouldn't, we'd be half dead now anyway. It would be that easy to do. Let's have a look at here. Locust horns are shit. The people are shit. Ah, oh, fuck it. Take that one, I like it. X ray spec. Okay. Just means we don't have to spend bombs on secret rooms. Yay. Don't want to go in there. There's one. Oh. Steam tap. Oh, now everything's cheaper in the shop. Was there anything in the shop we wanted? I don't think so. What was the card? If we can get to the uh, boss room in time, we might be able to scum up boss rush, but we weren't going fast enough. Because of all the min-maxing I've been doing. Can you explain to me what scumming up means? Scumming up? It's just like leveraging something to an absurd degree. So like playing the game as it's intended. Well, wait, what concept did I just use it in? No, like, I obviously said scumming up in context. Scumming up boss rush. Oh, um, you take a teleport card in, take an item and then leave so you don't actually have to fight for the item. The, the game allows it, so it's within the rules, but at the same time, it's a very cheap tactic. It's like espionage. It's doable, but could you? Do I really need to explode these? No. Why did I go in here when we have free entry? We should take that key, because we've only got one. We just got the pack, by the way, which is another damage upgrade. Uh, the mark. Another freaking... Back to charge, thanks to charge, baby. Are these spiders? Yes, because I'm killing things before they get the opportunity to. Unfortunately, we are taking too long to find the boss room. Which means if we do find the boss room, we won't go to it. We just do the rest of the floor. And we didn't have a teleport card anyway, so. Ooh, what is this dodge? <laughs> Other than me. Yeah, that's what Infestation 2 does. Every dead enemy becomes. Okay, empty room. Uh, becomes a spider. Now it's just my cohort of spiders will be with me for all time. Until they all dash themselves against some invulnerable enemy that they have no opportunity to actually And yet, we reckless abandon. Now I need a human to miss this pill. Just wait. Oh, shit. Ooh. Tears down. Oh, good. Ooh, PhD. Magician. Not very good. Oh, it's question marks. Question marks. <laughs> Not smart. Ooh, black candle though. So when you pick up PhD, you know what all the um pills are. You don't have to guess. Power pill, that's pretty nice. Uh, so when you pick up a pill and you have PhD and it says question marks, it's the question marks pill. You don't take it to see what it is. You know what it is. It's written there. Let's go and find the item pick room. Up a pill, like three times fast. Pick up a pill like three times fast. Excuse me, what? That was a punch and you deserved it. You were not. Instructions unclear. Uh, path of least resistance taken. Yeah, no. e... That looks like a belly button. <laughs> okay, the belly button. You might as well explore this floor. Sure, let's do this. Oops. What is happening? Taking damage in order to try and get some angel room items. If this gets me crown of light, also I just took the wafer. That was perfect timing. This would normally do a full heart of damage per per stomp. But as it happened, we took the wafer, which gives us uh, all damage is half a heart, irrespective of the source. Here you go, angel. 
avenging angels, angels, kick ass angels. Well, we could find Megastan. This is great timing. Having this, uh. Um, this, uh, this. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Apparently, they're going to the dark room. I was hoping to get some more items out of it. Vessel. Is that the comic? That's the curse of the tower. That's question marks. Ah, you see, I'm not I'm learning. I guess we find some items before we do anything else. Because it's fun. We're pretty powerful. Nah, screw it, let's just end. <laughs> I was trying to get a crown of light by stepping on the thing. I actually forgot that it would teleport us to the dark room. So this has been a quick run. We didn't fight Mom. We didn't get to use our uh, We didn't get to use our Goat head particularly because we didn't even fight Mom to get to the Ow, deal with the devil on the floor. I still don't creep. That was smart. I walked into the wall. That wasn't smart either. Oh, you just keep going until it dies. Megasun, why would he tell you how much HP he's got? I don't think Megasun has to follow your rules. I mean, clearly, it's not. It's recharging. Oh, because I got battery baby. I understand. What hit me just now, then? It wasn't it? It appears to be unable to avoid most of this damage right now. That was just bad. Oh, no, I'll accept that one. So your Mega Blast doesn't last as long as that one. Oh, what? Uh, no. Well, they do. They give you decent items and you don't have to pay for them. Unless you blow up their statues. In which case, they get crossed with you. I don't know why these angels are particularly like this. I think those are the other two angels, right? Uh, Some other fallen angel. Do I look like I'm up on my Bible trivia? That's close. Don't do either. I mean, I did try to play this game. Room, so. Well, I didn't get past the first room when I first played the game. Very difficult. Very difficult. Never know. Ah, uh, how the heck do you avoid this thing? Okay, fair enough. Reroll? Reroll. Okay. Oh, we're done. Uh, after 25 minutes, when I was supposed to be doing the entire thing, looking for... I did everything wrong on that. I helped. <laughs> Yay! Uh, thanks for watching. Dee was here for the time being. Go away. Okay. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye. You don't get to say bye. I do.